A young woman learns her fate today, five months after a deadly hit and run. Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Vanessa Murphy. And for Kirsten Joyce, surveillance video captured 19-year-old Joanna Mesa attempting to wipe away evidence of the crash after hitting a pedestrian. So this happened in the early morning hours of January 21st, not too far from Lake Mead and Mount Hood. 8 News Now reporter Victoria Saha was in the courtroom today as emotions run high. I want to apologize for my poor juvenile decision. I understand I made a horrible decision that night. That night, haunting two families forever. Joanna Mezzo was driving when she hit 23-year-old Rakia Poole. Poole was attempting to cross the street. I know that my mistake and I regret leaving the scene. Not only did Meza leave the scene, she was caught on surveillance cameras getting out of her car to clean up the damage of the impact. Then minutes later, she sped through the crash scene again. You had time to change your clothes, wipe your vehicle down, but leave Rakia lifeless in the street. You do dogs like that, not a human being. You left a whole human being in the street and then you drove back by her dead in the street. The district attorney also revealing there were empty alcohol bottles at the scene. Meza's attorney. We're dealing with a teenager here. You know, she made a bad teenage decision. The judge ultimately sentencing Meza five to 15 years behind bars. Outside the courthouse, Poole's family satisfied with the sentence. I do appreciate her owning up to what she did. The Poole family tells me that they do forgive Meza and hopes that after she gets out of prison, she'll become a changed person. The judge, though, however, said that if Meza had stopped and made an anonymous phone call to 911 to get help for Poole, it could have made an impact on her case. Victoria Saham, 8 News Now.